like confused people do nothing. So if you call them and you give them this huge script about all this stuff, they're going to get confused and they're not going to do anything or they're going to think you're cold calling them. You're not cold calling them. Mm -mm. It is a lead. They filled out the information. You're the pizza delivery person delivering them the pizza. You just need to know what they want. Hey, welcome back to the CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins, and today we have a special guest who is absolutely crushing it with our new CA-branded life insurance leads, and I want her to share her story because she is doing amazing. Please welcome from CGH Group, all the way from Houston, Texas, Ashlyn Hughes. What is Hi. up, Ashlyn? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am amazing. For, for those that are going to see, okay, um, she is crushing it. How old are you? I'm 20. I'm 22. 22. You're getting so old. You already forget how old you are. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 20. I just turned 30 through that 33. That's, that's actually, you know, old. or you got, you know, your parents, Michael and Tanya, and then they're even older, you know? So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Tw 22. Okay, cool. And how long have you been in the business? Um, I'm going on my third year. Third year. Okay. And what has been, and then we'll dive into specifics, but I want to get the audience's attention really quick. Um, and then also for those that are like, dude, I want more information on how these CA branded life insurance leads work after you hear their Ashland story. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check that out and talk to someone on our team. Um, what has been your best week so far working our CA branded leads? Uh, 18,765. Wow. You said eighteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-five dollars. Yes, mother of pearl. That's yes. a lot of money. <laughs> it is. It is. Especially for a twenty-two-year-old. <laughs> oh my yes. gosh! So, uh, what happened that week for you to put up over eighteen grand? I went to work. Um, yes. <laughs> I actually got. I wanted to try them out, so I got a batch. Um, and then I called him and I went to work and I just worked as much as I could that week. That's awesome. Yeah. And how, how long have you been using our, uh, CA branded life leads? When did you release a May? You released them in May? Yeah, I think so. So I started using them, I think in June, June is when I got my first order, like first cool. week of June, but I kind of sat on them for two weeks and then I started working them. I know, I know, I know. But then I started working them which I regret sitting on them, but yeah. So I would since June, like middle of June. Okay. So a couple months and, and two, two or three months. And, and did they, did, when you sat on those, just as a le teaching lesson for the agents listening, was, yep. was it, did a lot of them forget what you were talking about? Yes. And no, with any okay. lead, it doesn't matter whether it's CA branded, um, life lead, final expense, whatever. You don't want to sit on the lead because this person wants it right then and there. And they've probably filled out a million other things online or talked to other people or called their auto insurance, state farm, whatever. Um, so you don't want to sit on it. So don't do what I did and sit on them. But I still had really good success calling them after two weeks. Not as much as I did when I called them as I got them in, but I sure. still did decent um, calling them after they sat there for a little bit. That's awesome. So in your estimation, for those who are like, I don't know what CA branded life insurance leads are, um, how would you describe them as far as like what you know? Um, the way I, I call them Cody leads. So now I have to like transition into CA branded leads, but you call, call them whatever them, you want. You call them whatever I, you want. I call them Cody leads. Um, but I would describe them like the, like the person is online looking for actively looking for life insurance. Um, and I've tried a million, I guess a million is an exaggeration, but I've tried a lot of internet leads. Um, yeah. And where a lot of people are going for stuff is the internet. They're going on TikTok. They're going on Instagram. They're going on Facebook. They're going on Twitter, whatever. That's where everyone's getting their stuff and their information from. Um, and so what I like about them is, and what they are, is they're typing in or they're searching something. And then they see your ad, right? They click it. It takes them to a landing page. And then they see you. Um, and so they're vetted. I think they're vetted because... If I personally, if I was a customer, which I am, but if I was and I was on, let's say Facebook and it popped up and I clicked it. And the first thing I saw was a person and not some 
fill, form that I have to fill out first. And then I'm ta- like, I'm not talking to someone, but I'm, I'm hearing from them. So I know it's not a scam, which I yeah. think goes a long way. Um, but so it takes it to you, you, the person, and then they fill out the form. Um, and you even said that you even took it one step further and they have to swipe over instead of just click like a little green thing to send in the form. They have to swipe over, which yeah. there's just like these little things. Um that you've done or that have been done with this CA branded leads um, that make it totally different when you're calling them because they remember that they watched a video or they remember that they swiped over. They remember putting in these nine fields because it's not just name and date of birth and phone number. It's mm-hmm. more than name and date of birth and phone number. It's yes. name, date of birth, phone number, email, whether they have coverage or not. They have to think about who their beneficiary is going to be because that's part of the fields. One of the nine fields is who your beneficiary is going to be, their city and their state. I don't know any other. I literally have not tried any other Internet lead, final expense lead, anything like that. That is positioned that way because you have so many fields that you can go back to and remind them of what they filled out if they do forget. True. hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. And, and too, like to add that you, you gave away some really key points. Um, it is, yes, it is me on video saying, Hey, if you are looking for life insurance and I'm going through like a 90 second ad about life insurance, right. And mm-hmm. I'm actually explaining it. I'm literally sitting right here on the end. Um, and then we, they're, yes, they're adding like, you know, who do you want the beneficiary to be? And you know, if they currently have coverage, those type of things and a bunch of contact info. And then towards the end, I, add, we added two things, like you mentioned, after they fill out their information, we added a review step. So most mm-hmm. lead forms don't do this. We added a review step. So they have to actually go review their information, which helps with accuracy, by the way. Um, and then after the review step, uh, they have to go to the bottom and actually slide the button to submit it. And it actually says slide to submit on the button versus just clicking it really quick. So, yep. Yeah, Which yeah. I think is huge. Those little things are huge, especially the review step, because they have to go back and review their information. That's another thing that they're doing that they'll remember when you call them again or when you call them. Yes, yes, hundred percent. That's exactly right. Yep. Um, also, so so you've had. I mean, so you've been using for a few months. Um, mm-hmm. You're you buying. I think 20, 20 or thirty at a time. I don't know. I just yeah. buy whatever. When Dominic texts me, that's I, that's what I buy. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, cool. just text, I think it's like anywhere from 20 to 50. Okay. And then what 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 have you noticed as far as like before we get to you have actually have a friend using them now too, but before yeah. we get to that, you were you you are um what what does the call look like? Like when you're working these, what are you doing? What are you saying? Yeah. How 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 is the feedback on the other end of the phone? Yeah. So I I keep it short and sweet because these people are online filling something out. They're not calling into a system filling something out. They're not driving to the bank filling something out there. It's online. Um, so I keep it short and sweet. I just call them. I always refer back. Every time I call, I, I know my dial script like the back of my hand, but every time I call, I refer back to the video that you watched of Cody Askins. Those are my exact words. My job, I'm the senior underwriter. My job is to get that information to you and answer any questions that you have. And I think, I don't know if the way I dial is what makes them um, so easy for me, but um, like referring back to the source because they're remembering. I mean, some of these people fill these things out at 4 a.m. when they're scrolling through Facebook while they're getting ready for work or something. Like these things come in at some crazy times of the day. They do. But if when I refer back to what it looks like when they fill out the form, and then if I get pushed back, I go back to it's nine fields. You put in your date of birth, you put in your phone number, you put in your email, you put in your beneficiary, all this information. When you fill that out, what was going through your head? Mm. What were you looking for? And then that's how I set the appointment. So I keep it. Some I feel like the if people aren't having success with them is you're overcomplicating it. Simpler is better. Um, I'm very simple minded, and so I keep it simple. And like confused people do nothing. So if you call them and you give them this huge script about all this stuff, they're gonna get confused and they're not gonna do anything, or they're gonna think you're cold calling them. You're not cold calling them. Mm -mm. It is a lead. They filled out the information. You're the pizza delivery person delivering them the pizza. You just need to know what they want. 
That's good. Yeah, I think you should speak at 8% next year. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, I love that. And, and and so what's like you're, you, we talked about before this, but like you're calling them, um, mm -hmm. they're remembering, you know, and then you're also, I like that you're setting an appointment versus trying to just go all into it right then and make the sell. Talk through that piece too. Cause I think a lot of agents do screw it up because they're like, Hey, you want to buy life insurance? Here's a quote, you know? Yeah. Don't ever do that. You have the one thing that they want. The one thing that they want is a quote. That's the million dollar question that everybody wants the answer to. And if you give that up freely, you're giving them what they want and you're not in control of that conversation. Mm. So when I call them, I'm busy. So I do CA branded leads. I do a whole bunch of stuff and I don't have time. Truthfully, I do not have time to sit there, call someone to do an appointment on the spot. They're, like I can count on my hand. I've done three appointments on the spot since I've been in this business. Three. Wow. wow. Because busy people... Do, they they want to do business with someone who's busy. If you're busy, you have a successful business. I don't care if you're, my mom is Tanya Hughes, but I don't care if you're busy vacuuming the floor, you're busy doing something because they want, they know that you're busy. So they know that you're taking time to call them, which goes a long way. And so I never do the appointment on the spot. Most people are at work when I'm calling them anyway, and I'm not going to do an appointment with someone who's at work when they're not 100% engaged in the conversation, when they've got some kind of machine going on in the background, if they're ordering food at the, on their lunch hour, that's not a time to do an appointment. And I never call someone and say, hey, you were looking for life insurance. We can get you a quote for $20. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever done that because I want them to, I want them to make sure that they know what it is, what they're getting, what it's going to do for them. And so I set up a time then I say, like, I will, I work when you don't, I don't work your normal nine to five. I work when you don't, when are you home from work? And I can call you back and we can go over this information. Mm. And that's what I do. And then I set the appointment. I call them, talk to them, make a friend and protect the family. That's literally all I do, but I never do it on the spot. If they're, if you're doing it on the spot, you're doing it wrong. Whoever told you to do yeah. it on the spot is wrong. Don't do that. That's awesome. That's great. That's so good. And, and out of, say out of 10 leads, how many of them know like what you're talking about, why you're calling, you know, et cetera. Um, I would say if I'm talking, if I get a hold of them, they know what I'm talking about. Um, so out of 10 leads, I would say anywhere because out of 10, I usually get a hold of like six, sometimes seven. Um, and so if I get a hold of them, they know what I'm talking about. If I can, some you have those people who you just simply cannot get a hold of. It's just hard to reach them on the phone. You call them. The nice thing about the CA branded leads, um, is you have their email. So mm -hmm. you can almost set up like a drip campaign and just check interest in the email, which, I don't know any other lead that they had you put the email on because I do mortgage protection and an email is not part of, mm. it's not part of the lead at all. It's age, sometimes date of birth, name, phone number, and that's it. And so you have that email. So I reach them in every, any way I can, I try and reach them. But if I get a hold of them and I'm talking to them on the phone, they know why I called. Yes. So you also have it. Seven. Okay. That's great. You also have a, um, you mentioned a, f a friend yes. uh, previously kind of tell that story, which is cool too. Yeah. So she had to take, um, so she did solely mortgage protection. She had a, not such a great, um, experience and had some stuff happen with her family that she had to take time off. Mm. Um, and she's a teacher. She was very successful in this business. Um, but then like family stuff happened and she had to take off. So she called me up, um, and she's actually on, our team and she called me up and she needed some help. Um, and my parents actually put me in contact with her. And so I talked to her and I was like, I really think, and we all agreed, I really, you should try these CA branded leads. I've been successful with them. Her and I are very similar as far as personalities. Um, we're outgoing and we like to talk to people. And so, and she was like, okay. And like literally that night I talked to her that night, she got her first order of CA branded leads as soon as it, and she was checking her, checking her spreadsheet every day. As soon as she got a lead, she literally texted me the next day and she's like, Hey, I got this person. Um, it was a complicated one. What should I do? 
she has gotten, she just got her second order of leads. Um, I think like a day or two ago, but she's written, I think she's written like $10,000 just this month. And she like, awesome. she called me the day she decided to come back and wrote an app the next day. Mm. Because it's that I told her, I was like, this is why, cause she's got a toddler. And I was like, this is why I think you should do these. You do less explaining. You don't have to explain, like, you don't have to explain what, how mortgage protection is different than life insurance because they're not looking for mortgage protection. They're looking for life insurance. So you do less explaining and it's pretty cut and dry. You either have what they want or you don't. You write it, you're good, go on your way. And she wrote, I think in a week, in a weekend, she wrote five applications. Wow. She's a beast. She's a beast. She's wow. really good. And then she just, obviously they work. Otherwise she wouldn't have just gotten her second order. True. And she quit her job. I think she quit her job. Like, oh my gosh. It was great. It was great. But she has been so successful in it because they're, e they're easy. Like you just talk yeah. to them. You make a friend. If you overcomplicate it, it's harder. Like I don't ever go into an appointment or even call someone with something called, it's called commission breath. And if you're listening to this, you probably know what commission breath is. Mm -hmm. They can smell it. They can hear it in your voice from a mile away. If you're not doing what's best for them, they know that. Mm. Little things like I had someone tell me, well, so-and-so said that um, they, uh, no one outside of the state can take care of me. You may not know it, but clients know that those little things aren't true. She's nice. And so if you're not doing what's best for them, it, they can smell it. And she and I, we do what's best for the person all day long. And so I think when you do what's best for them and they're searching for it, you're just giving them the answer. You're giving them the answer to what they're looking for. You have the answer to their problems. You do what's best for them. Everything else will follow, but do what's best for them first. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so good. That's such good feedback too. And you know what? I'm going to have, I'm going to have, what's your friend's name? Her name's Brittany. You and Brittany should be on YouTube training all these agents all the time. <laughs> That's what I know. Okay. Also for, for those, for those that are loving this um, and you're watching this later, throw in chat, give Ashlyn some love. She's doing phenomenal. How, how many times have you been on video? Um, not very. Okay. Well, recently a lot, but okay, good. Cause, hey, cause you're crushing it. When I get on <laughs> when I get on. No, get you're doing so good. Watching. So good. Seriously. Yeah. So good. Um, if someone wants to, um, learn more about, uh, CGH and like talk to you and get some, you know, have a conversation, et cetera, where should we send them and what should they do? Yeah, you can send them, um, to me, um, which is, my name is Ashlyn Hughes, but I am married. So Ashlyn Miller, um, cool. but in the industry, I'm known as Ashlyn Hughes because I've been in it. Got it. I was like, I didn't know that. And over here, I'm over here using your maiden name. Okay, gotcha. And I know your parents. So it's like. Yeah. I've been in the industry since before I was married. And so most people know me as Ashlyn Hughes, but they're kind of, they're slowly transitioning to Ashlyn Miller. They're just so that's used good. to seeing me as Hughes. Um, your husband's, your husband's going to love that, by the way. That's cool. Right. That's He's going to be like, yes. Yes. I actually got him on the CA uh, leads the other day. Wow. Let's go. Yes. What's his, what's his name? His name's Callan. I saw that. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, good. Good, yeah, good, good. That's my cool. husband. I love it. I love it. Yes. Mm. So so if they want to reach out, well, like just check it out, like look you up on social or what should what should they do? Yeah. Um, they can reach out to me directly. My phone number is 713-205-1325. Um, or you can look us up on social. A lot of people are on social media, which is it's the CGH group which is literally the name of the Instagram. Um, we're all over the place. <laughs> also, what, what's what, what's your Instagram? If they want to look My at Instagram up. is, oh, goodness. It's Ashlyn with three N's and then Miller. I'll have to clarify that. Cool. Because it uh, used I mean, to be Ashlyn underscore underscore H, but I got married and it changed. Uh, Ashlyn with three N's and then think, Miller. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I'm like, oh, actually, I had, did a video earlier. And I was going to tag you. Is it, um, mm, I don't think that's you. So we'll figure it out. Yeah. It's got me and my husband. Okay. It's Ashlyn with two N's and then Miller with three R's. Okay, cool. Ashlyn, normal, two N's, Miller, 
Three R's. Three R's. There you go. Miller. Yeah. Miller is such a popular last name. I had to figure That's out true. something different. That's for sure. I love it. Uh, and, and what would you say to agents that are like, man, I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. And I need some advice. Or when I work leads, they don't go as well. But I haven't worked these leads. Like, what, what, what all would you say to them today as we close out? I would say, like, a big thing if you're struggling is proper training. Like, you can't come into this like these leads let me say this first is these leads aren't something that you're gonna buy 20 and you're gonna write 20. no lead is that way you will write a lot on these leads you will talk to a lot of people and you will protect a lot of families but if you get into these leads and you think you're gonna buy 20 and write 20 that's not realistic at all um but if you're struggling like training is a really big thing and that's also why we do um, we do hands-on training and we do online training every single morning at 9 a.m. because it's important to stay connected with people. I feel like a lot of people are competing and we should join together and help each other out. And so we we do a training every morning at 9 a.m. and training's huge because it's not something you can't just call someone up and say, here, this is what you want. Like you don't, you have to present it a certain way. It's not rocket science. It's simple. I'm not going to tell you it's easy, but it is simple. Um, and so if you're struggling with these leads, you can reach out to me. You've got my phone number. You can reach out to me. Um, but if you're over, like I would really look yourself in the mirror and just think, am I overcomplicating it? Am I saying X, Y, and Z? Because the little small things, it may not be this big change you need to make, but it could just be a few little things that just need to be tweaked because those little things make a huge difference. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And it's crazy how many, which, which they're not all, not all leads are created equal, but so many agents are like, nah, dude, leads just don't work, or it's just not, it's impossible to make money with leads, or I'm terrible with leads, or all lead vendors are terrible. I hear that a lot. Like, this is my opinion. I had someone say, I've had a lot of people say that. Um, and so I practiced what I preached. We had another guy practice what he preached. My husband is obviously in this business, and he called a lead two years old, two years old, and he protected that family. Leads work if you do. Leads work if you do. It is never the lead. Don't blame the lead. Don't blame Cody. Don't blame anybody else. Blame yourself. They work if you do. And so if you're struggling, obviously don't struggle in silence. Reach out. That's what your mm -hmm. mentor is there for. That's what, if you're a, a part of Cody, that's what Cody's there for. That's what I'm here for. That's what your mentor is there for is to help you. If you're struggling, reach out. Um, but it's not the leads. And I hear that so much. It's, it's the leads. I don't know how you make it, but I don't work. Y'all, if I can do this, y'all can do this. Like if you could see me three years ago, you'd be like, okay, if she could do this, I can do this. No, seriously. So good. it's not that complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. Confused agents do nothing. Just like confused clients do nothing. Yes. Also, uh, that's uh, such amazing advice. If you had to, if you had to like guess how much you've invested a guess in CA branded life insurance leads and how much you've actually written over the last few months. What okay. would you say? So the last, since I got my first batch, yeah, I would say invested anywhere from three to 3,500. Okay. Dominic would know that one for sure. But I think anywhere from there, I just know it comes out of my account. Um, and then I have written as of this week on CA leads, um, just under 30 issue paid 29. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. But Almost I also good. have it. I haven't written them yet, but I'm going to here in, um, actually today, um, I have five IULs I'm writing on one cause it's a whole family. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going out. I do, I do strictly virtual, but I'm actually going out my first in-person appointment in two and a half years tomorrow at 10 AM. And that'll be like nine applications from one CA lead because she reached out to her mom who reached out to her son who reached out to her friend. So we're having a family barbecue type situation tomorrow morning, but oh they, they're, they're successful. So if anyone says the leads don't Thank work, you. are you working them right? These aren't something you call once and they don't answer and they don't work. You got to call them. And if they don't, if you call them at 8 AM and it doesn't work, call them at three, call them at five, mm -hmm. change it up. But if I'm at the office, I'm working. So if 
if they, if I call at eight, they don't answer. I call again at three. They don't answer. I call again at five. They don't answer. I call the next morning at eight, seven, whatever you, you work them. They work if you do. So it's not the leads ever. It's not the leads. I promise. Some batches are better than others, but sure. consistent activity gets you results. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ashlyn Hughes Miller. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Ashlyn, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. Thank you for giving our leads a shot, doing such an amazing job. But you are such an example for so many other agents out there, especially at 22 and freaking crushing it. You should be proud of all your success. <laughs> um, and I appreciate you coming on and sharing all that success with so many agents today. Yeah, thank you. Boom. Thank you, Ashlyn. And thank you all for listening to CA Power Player Podcast. If you want more information about leads or marketing or anything we're doing, you can go in the description, click the link below, jump on and talk to our team at CodyAskins.com slash call. And we'll see you on the next episode of our Power Player Podcast. Adios. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I'm so excited for today's CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins. We got a special guest. He is back on the channel talking about how to sell life insurance from home. Here's what I, well, here's what I love about this person. Okay, I'm telling you, this will be the, one of the best.